American citizen Travis Leak was arrested in Russia on drug charges. I'm wondering if you have any comments on that arrest and to what extent you are working to determine whether this is a similar wrongful detention case. I don't have a lot more information on the arrest itself. Uh, I'd really refer you to the State Department. I know that the State Department is, uh, 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 at least as of my coming out here, tr trying to get in touch with the family and they're looking into this case. The, so as far as I know, uh, consular officers were present at his arraignment uh, and uh, and did get a consular visit with him. We'll, we'll obviously continue to, to monitor this and stay in touch uh, with his case as, as much as possible, but it's just too soon for me to be able to characterize it one way or another. And then I think you asked about a wrongful detention. That's going to be up to the State Department to look at. Was the president briefed on this case? Uh, I don't know. I don't have an update on the degree to which the president was updated. And then secondly, um, President Zelensky has now confirmed that a counteroffensive is underway in Ukraine. Uh, the Ukrainian military says that it took back three villages in eastern Ukraine, but they also appear to be taking heavy losses, including of U.S. provided equipment. So I'm wondering what the U.S.'s assessment of this counteroffensive is thus far. We're, we're going to refrain from providing a, an armchair assessment of this offensive. I'm going to still stay uh, true to that. Um, uh, look, uh, offensive operations uh, combat is, is happening. Uh, there's no question about that. Uh, but it's up to President Zelensky to characterize it, not us. And it's certainly going to be up to the Ukrainian armed forces to speak to uh, the give and take on any given day. It, 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 it's war. Um, and it has already proven uh, violent. What we're going to stay focused on is making sure that Ukraine can succeed on the battlefield. Uh, you saw a package uh, of assistance coming through the USAI program uh, announced at the end of the week. I think uh, very, very soon you're going to see some additional uh, drawdown packages coming from the United States. Uh, it won't surprise you that the kinds of things you'll see us continue to give Ukraine are the kinds of things that we know they need uh, in this particular fight. Can you now tell us whether the Ukrainians provided you any notice that this, these operations were underway? Now that they've confirmed, I know you've been cagey about saying whether or not this I'm is not the cagey, I'm careful. <laughs> uh, uh, they, they had no obligations to give us any kind of uh, heads up or, or uh, inform us of, of their operations, nor have they ever in the last 15 months.